This is currently happening in front of Dowen College, um, the Ijo Youth Council, um, some with uh, red cloth uh, flags and t-shirts with pressmen, right now in front of uh, Dowen College as we speak. I think this is a, a protest to the death of uh, Sylvester, the captain. Sylvester. Members of the Ijo Youth Council currently staging a protest in front of Dowen College, Lagos, demand justice for late Sylvester Oromini. Sylvester is from the Ijo speaking tribe in Delta State. The protest come after the Lagos State government exonerated five students and staff of the school arrested over the death of Sylvester Oromini. According to them, our son cannot die and their own and their own children will walk into the school. Protesting Ijo youth vows to occupy Dowen College if the school reopens. This is a great move, guys, because people when send this Sylvester to an early grave, no go feel resume school just because say there be big man children. According to our human rights activist Adetun, she said school resumption is not the next. Let all schools be re-evaluated, re-secured, and proper counseling should be put in place for all parties, particularly parents and students, like justice for Sylvester or Romani Jr. This is not a good move at all for Lagos State Government to clear all five students and staff arrested over Sylvester Oromini's death. The letters now say the autopsy report ruled out case of murder and toxicology found no harmful substance in his body. Guys, eh, justice must prevail. I know say yesterday, even Sylvester mom come out, come pray against those that was involved in his son's death. Like his spirit, Sylvester's spirit will haunt them one after the other. They are pain the way when they go die go even they more painful than the way Sylvester Romani died. Guys, make on listen to this video where this our human rights activist are there to let us know what they really happen. Meanwhile, according to a report, Dowen College will not reopen school for resumption. If not, the school will be burnt down by a joy youth council. Guys, this is now Violet Bass TV. To all my returnees, God bless you. And if you never subscribe, I beg smash on the subscribe button. Also, remember to put up the post notification bell so that anytime when I upload any latest updates, you will get notified and be the first to watch. Guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Um, good morning, fellow citizens. Good morning, fellow Nigerians and a wonderful um, 2022 to all of us. All right, so this morning I'm coming to address the issue of school resumption opening. The Commissioner of um, Education has been talking about, the Lagos State Government generally has been talking about our schools resuming by the 4th of January. School resuming by the 4th of January is a very, very sensitive thing to do at this point in time. Concerning, um, if we have to look at the case of Sylvester or Romani, what happened, the autopsy result that came out, and how the investigation has taken place. This is on the legal side of it. Addressing this issue from a civil angle and a mental health angle. Please, I'd like to ask, what measures have you people taken to put security measures and check in places? The lack of CCTV camera, the absence of CCTV camera in Dowen College made you people have the effrontery to come and give us all the lot people occupy are just mere compensation or you are put there to be able to get what they need to get. You, you, the interest of a common man is not in your heart at all. So Sylvester has died. Autopsy result has come out. A different autopsy result from Worry, a different autopsy result from Lagos State. So the matter has ended. Ah! People should not just try this rubbish, this 2022. MRT, don't call, call, don't job, I will. You people think we will keep quiet and watch you continue to endanger the lives of our children? The children that died in Ojodu Bega. What security measures have you put in place? What measures have you put in place for a trailer not to run and ram? Even when you people change the story. Mental health is very, very important. Mental stability of these children to be able to learn in conducive environment is very important. And this is a wake-up call for our government to learn to do the right thing. This has nothing to do with politics. And to come and announce that schools should resume January 4th. Have they installed CCTV cameras? Our teachers, have they been reoriented about taking extra security measures on our children?
Our students and our parents, have they been sat down to discuss with them about how the government is taking extra measures to ensure that every life is protected? Do you need Remy or do you need uh, uh, Baja or do you need the uh, Jagaban or do you need anybody to come and tell you what to do? Does this look like a political matter to you? Does this look like a political why you people still need to go and sit down to you? Even if your your forefathers, your area fathers, your godfathers, those ones don't have brain. You unko, you can't take common advice to them and tell them sadi amma. This is the right foot thing to do. And it tell you about the corner and lock or lock or see. When you don't have it, you don't have it. One fee by force of you. A lot of you in this political offices, this uh, this polit this uh, uh, position to people, and everything your life should be tied to is the safety of every citizen of the state. Particularly our children. That's the reason why you and I are hustling and going out every day to give these children a better life. What does it mean to you if a 12 year old boy dies and because of a common autopsy result that says whatever lies or whatever truth that has been told neglect every other responsibility that the government should take concerning this case? Do you think it is easy? Or do you think it has been easy on the family? Do you think it has been easy on every parent? Do you think it has been easy on these children? This is a tea age. Informations have gone everywhere. Everybody knows what happened. A lot of people are even scared to take their children back to boarding school. A lot of people don't even know what next to do. And all you people come out to do is to come and announce that us all the lies and the stories that you cook up for us to hear. Now, further um, incidents should not happen. What has been put in place? I can remember very well during COVID, it took the, the, the government weeks and months to ensure that all schools have the sanitizer, the disinfectant bowls, the pedal beans, and everything, so many things, and then they went round to check. I think you people made some good money out of that. Now, what measures have you people put in place to ensure that every private schools and public schools have CCTV cameras and they have the monitoring unit so that in case of anything or for record purpose or for sanity and mental stability purpose, you people can now refer back to that. It is very obvious that the life of a common man means nothing to the chief security officer of this state, who is Jide Sonwolu. You're through your pocket. For how long do you people want to continue to live like this? For how long do you want to continue to steal from the heart of a common man? You people should be shameless of yourselves that this point and time and this generation, you people don't have brains to think and you would not have allow people who have brains to think to come on board and sit down with you people. It's a shame. Shame on you. Shame on Lagos State. Let these children stay at home for one month. Let their lives be secured. At least there will be a trail pointer. You people will not come back and tell us lies. If there was CCTV camera in Dowen College, this would not have happened. This story would not change the way it has changed. You people want us on the streets? Do you want us on the streets? Do you want us on the streets? Are you asking for another war? Because this is an issue that concerns every single parent across the nation. It can happen to anyone. It can happen anywhere. It can happen anytime. And this is the same way to slide. So, whether PTA parents will gather themselves together and ensure that this is done within the PTA pocket, what about the government schools? How do you want to do this? Whatever association people have, gather yourself and ensure. And the Commissioner of Police should come out and address us and tell us the necessary steps that has been taken. Tell us the necessary steps that has been taken. And we will also follow up with our physical eyes to know that, yes, this has been done. Mental stability of our children is very, very important. The mental stability of our parents is very, very important. The mental stability of even teachers that are teaching them is very, very important. I saw a boy who, who the mother said, you're going to body school next time. He, 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 he busted into tears. He doesn't want to go because of Sylvester's case. And you people take it like adamantically as if nothing has happened. Because you do not value the life of a common man, but you value what comes into your pocket. You value what comes into your pocket. 
For how long do you people want to continue to live like this? For how long do you want to continue to steal? To learn to do the right thing. This has nothing to do with politics and it has nothing to do with the legal system. This is just the society and its mental state. Do you know what a lot of parents are going through now? Or if people think you want to come and open the one college, or if people think that, okay, other schools should go back, uh, it's business as usual. You people know how many months you took to put people, sanitizers and all these things in place. You people should go back and do the needful. We need extra security measures for our children. We need police patrol on every street where schools are. You people should go back to your drawing board and re-strategize. Enough of this stupidity people display to our generation. It's not a generation where we will look. This is the Soros, okay? Where we will all come together and discuss issues affecting the common life. Please. Well, I'm not appealing to anybody. These people don't deserve any appeal. You people.